Before this video begins, the second I heard this line from Navia, I can only think of one thing. Let's see if you can guess what I'm thinking about. Feeling lucky? Do you, punk? Anyway, let's get to the video. that these metal sheet houses were difficult to build anywhere else. You never failed to impress. This has put me in the mood to go fishing. <laughs> Wanna join? Huh. Have you ever noticed how all of Fontaine's restaurants seem to go for the same style of decor? You can't judge a restaurant by how fancy the furniture is. It all comes down to the quality of the food. But, since this is Shea Traveler, I have no doubt that both the menu and the cooking are exceptional. is seriously cool. So, you and Paimon have this whole space to yourselves? It must feel a little empty sometimes. Maybe I should come and hang out more often. <laughs> I like this place a lot. It's really nice. The scenery is wonderful, and I love what you've done with the interior. Very tasteful. You never fail to impress. Oh, don't be silly. It's not a competition. Every home's character is unique to its owner. It's not a question of good or bad, just personality. Yeah, that sums it up nicely. Your home is a reflection of your personality. Just one look around here, and I can tell that this place belongs to you and Paimon. Hmm, uh, cozy and practical, I guess. Beyond that, I'm really not that picky. Malus actually did most of the interior decor at my place. I've always been quite fond of his style, and now that I've gotten used to it, I'm reluctant to change things up. Really? Literally whenever I want? Because I'll definitely be taking you up on that offer. Don't worry, I'll make sure to always come with snacks. Homemade cookies, little cakes, and whatever else you like. Oh, <laughs> and I'm happy to bring enough for Paimon, too. Sure thing. I mean, that's the whole point of coming here to hang out. Hmm, so, uh, what's new with you? Anything in particular on your mind lately? Ah, yes, we certainly can. You know, you should consider getting yourself a hat. And I don't mean a hat to keep your ears warm or your head dry. I just think your hairstyle would look really neat with a hat. Oh, sure. I'll take you to the best shop in all of Fontaine. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, you and Paimon could both do with fancy outfits for formal occasions. As well as a hat, and a new pair of leather shoes. Actually, come to think of it, how have you dressed for formal occasions in the past? Really? Huh. That's a surprise. <laughs> That's cool, though. I like how you don't get hung up on that kind of thing. I often find that people who don't stress about their appearance are the most chilled out. Whatever the world throws at them, they just take it as it comes. No nonsense, no pretensions. 
<laughs> Honestly, I think that's pretty awesome. I guess traveling the world instills that kind of confidence in you, huh? But still, let's definitely get you a nice hat and some leather shoes when we have the chance. <gasps> let's do something together. We could go on a hike, climb some trees, pet some cats, walk some puppies. <sighs> I'm honestly down with whatever. You better believe it. There might be quite a bit of skirt in the back, but it's not restricting. I made sure of that before I bought it. I specifically asked the designer to make some alterations so I could maintain freedom of movement. I had a dog once, many, many years ago. But after she passed away from an illness, I never got another. My papa named her Shelly. There wasn't any special meaning to the name. We just happened to find her right after coming back from a trip to the seaside. I loved that dog. We'd go out together all the time, and she'd take me on adventures through the abandoned pipes. She was really smart that way. Definitely. Sometimes, I have dreams where we're playing together again. But I usually get over it pretty quickly once I wake up. I'm sure Shelly wouldn't want me to live in the past. She'd want me to move forward with my life and make more good friends. Come on! That should go without saying. After all the life and death situations we've been through together, that definitely makes you one of my greatest friends of all time. I doubt I'll make many more friends like you in my lifetime, so I'll cherish our friendship to the end. Anyway, as your great friend, how about I bake a cake that has all of our names on it? You, me, and Paimon. And bring it here for all of us to share. Something tells me that Paimon would really enjoy that. So I'm willing to spoil her, just this once. <laughs> Please, we crossed that bridge a long time ago. Why would I ask to hang out with you here if we weren't already great friends? Anyway, as your great friend, how about I bake a cake that has all of our names on it? Ah, <sighs> yeah, I'm getting really sleepy. I think I'm gonna turn in. Good night. Uh, don't stay up too late. Hmm, I really hope my dreams are sweet tonight. I'm sure today will be a really great day. Uh, wanna go out for a quick walk? I don't mind where, just bring a small bag and let's head out right away. Hey,一起玩吧，爬山、爬树、逗猫、遛狗，什么都好。对呀，别看我这个裙摆大，行动不会受影响的。我就是考虑到这一点，才要求服装设计师在一般的礼服裙基础上做了改良。很久以前养过一条小
小心了